Okay, Assalamualaikum. In this video, I'm going to uh, explain to you about Chapter 9, Efficient Market and Behavioral Finance. So basically, uh, we will learn about the efficient market, what is efficient market, and also what is behavioral finance. And also, I will explain to you the application of efficient market and behavioral finance toward the real trading. Okay. So you need to know what it mean by efficient market. So when we talk about efficient market, it is say that when we, the market here is refer to the stock market. Okay, so that mean the stock price or the stock market is reflect with all the information that we have. Okay, so the information here we have two types of information, which are private information. Okay, the private information that come from the insider. For example, of private information, let's say uh, the CEO, we get the information that CEO have intention to uh, sell their share. Okay, so when the CEO will drop from the company by selling their share, so therefore the share price of that company will drop. So that information only for the specific or only for the relative or only for the certain people that know that CEO will uh, sell off their share in the company. Okay, and it is what we call as insider information. Okay, whereas for the public information, this is the, uh, anybody know about it. For example, the government made announcement that a government will give a certain budget to the certain sector. For example, government announced to give budget to the uh, plantation sector and so that everyone know that uh, what happened with the stock market, okay? All of the stock price for the uh, plantation sector, okay, such as uh, plantation, uh, we have the Sime Dabi and then we have the uh, IOI plantation, okay, all the plantation sector, the price of the uh, stock, the stock price of the plantation sector will goes up. So everyone know about that information. So either private or public information, these two kind of information will reflect to the stock price, okay. And then, under the efficient market, we have the efficient market hypothesis and also random walk theory. So, for the efficient market hypothesis, it introduced by Eugene Pharma, 1970. Okay, so the Eugene Pharma introduced about the assumption of the uh, the assumption of the efficient market. Okay. So uh, actually, you will learn detail about this uh, efficient market hypothesis, random walk theory, behavioral finance in uh, invest subject investment in part four. Okay, next semester. So that is the efficient market hypothesis. We will discuss about the efficient market hypothesis uh, details after this. So again, when we talk about efficient market hypothesis, uh, it. We have the three types of hypothesis, which are weak form, semi-strong form, and also strong form. So now, we go to the random walk hypothesis. As the name implies here, it is about the random walk theory. So it is said that the price of the stock is walk at random. So we do not know or we cannot predict where the price price of the stock will heading to whether the price will goes up or the price will goes down because it is walk at the random okay so it is very hard for the investor to get the uh, large profit by exploiting the pattern okay that is what it mean by the random walk okay so why actually it is say that uh, the price is very volatile or the price we cannot predict about the price movement okay because of market is so efficient so what it mean again what it mean by market efficient market efficient that mean the market is uh, so efficient that mean the market we reflect with all the information okay when we got the information when the private or a uh, public information so the price of the share will adapt with the information. Okay. So
So, before we go further, I would like to explain to you about how the the market or how the stock prices goes up and goes down. Definitely, it is because of the supply and demand. Okay, the supply and demand. When we talk about the supply, that means investor want to sell the stock. Okay, let me put it here. Why it is market efficient? Okay, so market efficient. Okay, market efficient due to the supply and demand. For the supply, that mean this is investor want to sell the stock. We are talking about the stock price, uh, the, the the stock investment. Okay, in the stock market, the demand that mean investor want to buy the stock. So, as the law of demand and supply, okay. When the demand is high, demand is high. Therefore, the price will goes up. And when supply is high, okay, the price will goes down. So the fluctuation actually, whether the price is going up or price is going down, it is due to the demand and supply. Okay. Or it is due to the buyer and the seller in the market. So, uh, by the common sense, why actually buyer want to buy the stock? Why investor want to buy the stock? Because they predict that currently it is a right time to uh, to buy the stock due to the uh, lower price, and they predict that the price of the stock will increase later. Okay, so due to this, the demand and supply or buying and selling activities, and that what make, okay, the efficient, and that what it made by the fluctuation of the stock price. So, so it is said that actually, even though uh, someone predict that they can get a large or huge return in the stock market. But under some theory, under efficient market and random walk theory, it is say that investor cannot get a large profit by taking advantage of the stock price movement due to the efficient market. Again, what it mean by efficient market? It is say that the market is so efficient. Okay, so the price will effect with the information. So it means that it's not only you who, who get that information; the other person also who get that information. Okay. Now, in details, we go to the efficient market hypothesis (EMH) efficient market hypothesis introduced by Fama. Okay. So under efficient market hypothesis, we have three types of. A hypothesis, which is the market in the strong form, the market in the semi-strong form, and also the market in the weak form. So under efficient market, again, I repeat, efficient market that means the market is reflect with the information. What kind of information that we have? Private information and also public information. So under the strong form, the market reflect with all the information, where the public and private information. That means the market is very efficient. So any information, where the private or public information, everyone know. So the price of the stock is very walk at random, and therefore investor cannot get abnormal return. When the market is in the strong form, for the semi-strong form, the market adjusts quickly with the new public information. Okay, whereas the public information that mean the pu public information, as I said, as the example, okay, there is announcement. Okay, the company make announcement on the newspaper. Okay. Comp uh, for example, Petronas made announcement that uh, the company will pay dividend to their shareholder on September 2020. So all of that information, everybody know because of what? Because the announcement had made by the public. Okay, so for that information, 
Okay, the market adjusts quickly with the public information. That means any private information, also known as insider information, is really important for a trader or for investor in order to make a profit. So when the market is at the semi-strong form, okay, so investor need to find the private information. So what are the example of private information? Okay, for example, this is only example, bukannya betul-betul. Okay, so for example, you have uh, your relative that work at the A Asia. Okay, and then uh, your relative inform you that A Asia will merge with the Qatar Airlines. This is only example again. Okay, so nobody knows about the information. It is only uh, some close friend for the Tony, the the owner of the A Asia, and you get that information from the insider. So when you know that there will be a merger between uh, A Asia and Qatar Airlines industry, so you get the information. We know that ah, so what are the benefit of it? Okay, so the survival of the A Asia, uh, it might be it might be the survival of the A Asia will continuously can continue survive in the market. Okay, this is your prediction, and therefore, what will you do now? You will buy the A Asia stock because you believe that the A Asia stock price will increase later in the future. Okay, and the third one is the weak form. This is the weak form market not totally reflect with the private and public information. However, it is said that the price past price is not useful for predicting future price. Okay, so uh, whether the market in the strong form, semi strong or weak form, it is only want to explain you that the reaction about the stock market, okay, toward the information. Okay, if the market is very, if the market react quickly with the with the information and with the private and public information, so that market is on the strong form. If the market is not reflect, okay, with the private and public information, and that market is we call it as the weak form. Then if the market is only reflect with the public information, so that what we call as the semi strong form. Okay. So this is about the efficient market. So I will uh, explain for you the explain further for the behavioral finance. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.